Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Guten Abend, liebe Freunde und, und liebe Gäste. Günther gave me 20 minutes. Uh, I don't know whether I will need it, but I think I should also say a few words. It's really a pleasure for me to welcome you to this first meeting of our Zentrum für Biokomplexität und Naturteleologie. Uh, I'm, I'm leading uh, the, the chair of microbial ecology uh, at the Department of Bioscience of the Technical University of Munich. My name is Siegfried Scherer, and my research is mainly on food microbiology and uh, genetics of bacteria and foodborne <coughs> bacterial pathogens initiated some research on evolutionary biology. Currently, I have five PhD students and two postdocs perform research at my chair with uh, direct or indirect relevance uh, for evolutionary uh, biology, and some of the work will be presented tomorrow to you. However, I would like to emphasize that only a minority of my PhD students and postdocs share my worldview. I've worked with Christians, with Muslims and atheists, lots with atheists actually, but this does not matter at all as long as we agree to do empirical science. It is a hallmark of all empirical sciences that scientists, regardless of their worldview, finally will follow the evidence wherever uh, it is leading. As Günther already said, at a personal level, all of us at this meeting, of course, hold various theological or philosophical positions, but religion is not our focus. Near, neither at this, conference, at this conference nor uh, at our Zentrum. Nevertheless, we do have valuable connections to German Christian academic organizations which work in the field of faith and science. And concerning scientific issues, we are glad to cooperate. And therefore, I'm happy to deliver greetings from Dr. Alexander Fink, uh, the leader of the German Institute für Glaube und Wissen. He would have loved to be with us. But when I talked to him and invited him, he already had invited his wife to an Elton John concert this <laughs> week. <laughs> and I completely understood that this was a much more important occasion than our meeting here. Furthermore, I uh, would like to mention uh, the German Professoren Forum. I'm really glad that Hans Joachim Hahn, the leader of this forum, is with us today and tomorrow. If you are interested in this forum, please take the chance and talk to Hans Joachim. I believe this network, which connects about 800 German professors, is quite an important institution. If you visit the website, you will find this motto right on the first page. What is lived in the streets and public squares tomorrow depends upon what is thought in the universities today. I think this motto fits the motivation of many of us initiating the Zentrum für Biokomplexität und Naturteleologie. We believe that it is time for a new academic discussion of basic issues related to science and philosophy. We believe that we need a new academic discussion set free from the naturalistic confinement which appears to be omnipresent, at least in some academic circles. And we believe that such a discussion is overdue and will have consequences, not only for universities, but also for what is lived in the streets and public squares of our cities. Now, I'm of course not only a professor of biology at the Technical University of Munich. I'm one of these peoples which are very well known in the German-speaking countries as one of these rare specimens of biology professors who descend from a materialistic view of life. Second, I'm well known to publicly challenge evolutionism on a scientific basis. And third, some of you may know that I give sermons several times per year in our church in Munich. And for these reasons, I will provide some personal information which will help you to put my commitment 
to the new Zentrum für Biokomplexität und Naturteleologie in a proper context. I started to study biology when I was an atheist. In some way, I had replaced God by evolution. One day, in a lecture, my professor of evolutionary biology, who was an excellent teacher, an, an excellent scientist, and a very, very, um, yeah, how should I say, uh, a wonderful person. He spent half an hour bashing Christians who believe in the Creator. I listened to him, and I realized that he had changed attitude during these 30 minutes. He no longer spoke as a scientist only. It was clear that certain critical questions and divergent points of view obviously were not welcome at all in this discussion. I realized that, and more and more I saw that evolutionism, which is unlike evolutionary biology, is not science, since in some important aspects it would not allow to go wherever the evidence is leading. This experience significantly contributed to my decision to learn more about God and creation. That's certainly not what my professor intended. <coughs> Reading books of American creationists, I myself became a creationist and later a leader in the German creationist movement. However, the longer the more I realized that creationism was not able to explain key scientific issues and data from Earth history and comparative biology. It runs into massive contradictions. So I started to ask questions, many questions, and I soon realized that certain critical questions and divergent points of view obviously were not welcome at all in this discussion. So it became clear to me that creationism is not science since it would not allow to go wherever the evidence is leading. Finally, I had to skip creationism. When I became a professor of biology at the Technical University of Munich, I sympathized with intelligent design. However, after some time, I started to suspect that some ID proponents might follow conservative political agendas rather than scientific interests. Also, according to the German media, ID was apparently involved in attempts to change curricula in schools by using juridical means, which I strongly oppose. So, I was not sure anymore whether ID would allow to go wherever the evidence is leading. In May 2013, my wife and I met Steve Meyer at a conference in Poland. Steve provided a lot of important background information to us. I think we talked about four hours or so, I forget. That was a long time, yeah. So the conversation with Steve and the fact that I met Günther Bechli several years ago in Italy and later in France are two reasons why I stand here today. The Zentrum für Biokomplexität und Naturteleologie is intended to work not only in Germany but within an international network. This is already visible just by reading the list of participants of this meeting. Tomorrow we will formally establish our Zentrum für Biokomplexität und Naturteleologie. I sincerely wish that this day will see the beginning of a German-speaking community of people who will help one another to stay on target. We welcome theists and atheists as long as we agree to do science and to move wherever the evidence will lead us. I sincerely wish that many will join to discover the evidence, to carefully interpret and discuss and weigh the data, and finally, to follow the evidence wherever it will lead us. I'm confident 
this will be a most important, most precious, and most rewarding task. I sincerely wish that our center shall be a scientific enterprise. It shall work as objectively as possible. May it work independently of religious or personal predecisions to seek the truth, at least insofar as the truth is accessible to our analytical minds. After all, seeking the truth, that's what science is about. My final remark, not only a scientist, but also a Christian. As a Christian, I believe in a God who revealed himself as being the truth. Therefore, I ask God to help us to seek the truth. Thank you for your attention.